It's time to beat the clock. Lights of Broadway, sights of Broadway, sounds of Broadway all around. And there above shines the Pennsylvania, pioneering light, sight, and sound. Finer products, better products, tested quality. Made for you by Pennsylvania, pioneer for half a century. Beat the clock, from Pennsylvania, beat the clock. To entertain you, it's time to play Beat the Clock. And now here is America's number one clock watcher, Bud Carter. Thank you very much, ladies and gentlemen. Welcome once again to Beat the Clock, the show where you can have the time of your life playing against time for big time prizes. In case you don't know who that was that introduced me, that was Bird Bennett. <laughs> Bird <Burn>, take a bow. <laughs> all right, we have some holdover contestants from last week. We really gave them something to try and worry about all week because we had them in a paper bag and they were really going to have to do some real acting around. And incidentally, you remember you folks were here last week, so our bonus, you remember, was worth $700 and was knocked off. Isn't that right? Now, let's get your names again. Your name is? Bill Panasol. Bill, show them you're in an Army uniform. There. They can't see it there. Boys in the Army. And, uh, Miss Panasol, how long have you been married? Two years. Two years, okay. Well, now we're going to move you right in to pick up where your stunt left off, so come on over here with me, if you will. This was on the $200 clock you'd beaten, the $100 clock. Now, I don't have to explain this to you. If you stand back here so our audience can see, I will explain to the audience. What they have to do is when I say go, they're on their hands and knees in front of this paper bag. They have to crawl all the way in the paper bag till they get to the end turn around and crawl out again. The only catch is that they have got to change jackets while they're in there, you see? So that's their problem. How many seconds was it you had? Do you remember? 45, 45 seconds is what the clock says again. So have you practiced this at home? Yeah, what my kind knees of a, are sore. What kind of a paper bag did you get one of these? We couldn't uh, get a, we just crawl all over the kitchen. <laughs> oh, you did? Well, this is a standard paper bag. I think any grocery store would have it, but yeah. <laughs> in any event, get down on your hands and knees in front of it, if you will. Let's get this sort of, if you could help me spread that out there so you get a good even start. Spread it right out. Okay, kids, now you all set? Go! I'm telling you, there, <laughs> there are other kinds, though. Now you don't have to worry about that anymore. <laughs> Anytime anybody says your pants are baggy at the knees, you'll know another story about it from now on. <laughs> okay, well, we're going to find out now, after you cool off a little bit and catch your breath, what your problem is on the jackpot clock. And that's Okay, now you've caught your breath a little bit, folks. So now we have the lovely lady of the team. She's the one that has to carry on. The wife always does the jackpot clock. You, sir, can help only with good thoughts. You can't uh, coach her in any way. You can stand down over there and watch this whole proceeding right over there, if you will, sir. And you will just stand at the end of that platform, and I'll tell you when to get up on it. And back of this curtain is our famous magnetic jackpot board. On it are all of the words of a famous saying or quotation, but they're all out of order. Now, you can move them around on that board, and that's what we want you to do. We'll get them unscrambled in order so they read just as you'd write a sentence from left to right. The famous saying or quotation we're after. All this in 20 seconds from the time I say go. All right, open the curtain. Step up on the platform. Go. Hold it. Stop the clock. We get some uh, boards up here. Looks like we're running out of magnetism. Go. Okay, stop the... <laughs> ah, 
The proof of the pudding is in the eating. Let's see how much time you had. One second left is all you had. <laughs> well, that did, that's it. Give her a kiss. She deserved it. And step back in where you were, both of you, because you've just beaten our jackpot clock. Let's see what you've won. Just take a look over here. Oh, is it that? Mr. and Mrs. Panasso, your prize is Sylvania's exquisite console, the Montclair, with genuine hand-rubbed mahogany inlay doors, large 21-inch movie-clear television with surrounding halo lights for the greatest viewing comfort in all television. The Montclair is outstanding in performance and in design. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Panasso. You've just won Sylvania's jackpot prize. My congratulations. <laughs> <laughs> but I'd like you to meet Mr. and Mrs. James Fitzgibbons from Boston, Massachusetts. Well, hi, Jim and Mrs. Fitzgibbons. How are you? Well, nice to know you, Jim. Mrs. Fitzgibbons, how long have you been married to this fellow? Six years. Six years. Got children, have you? Yes, we have two. They aren't here with you? Oh, no. Oh, dear. How old are they? My girl's five and the boy's six months. Well, oh, good enough. Nice to have you folks here. Boston, Massachusetts is your hometown. That's right. And you work there, too, do you, Jim? I'm in Boston Fire Department. Oh, in the fire department? I don't. How do you get, you get leave up there? Well, we're on a special trip up here this week for the weekend. Oh, good. Well, I hope you're having a good time. The weather hole is kind of hot, though, isn't it? It is. Yeah, it's not so very comfortable. Well, now, as you heard me say before, or maybe you didn't, I don't know, we have a new bonus starting tonight. Anytime the bell rings, whether you're here or anybody who happens to be up at the time when the bell rings, they're the one that gets to try the new bonus. It's worth $100. The old one was done last week, worth $700. It adds 100 each week that it's not done. Okay. This is going to see now whether or not you're pretty uh, good on your feet. We got rubbers on you, I see. That's to give you a little more purchase on this stage. I think you'll feel happier if you take your coat off and hang it over that hook that we've provided down there. Because you got to do a little moving around. You can just stand by and watch him here, Miss Fitzgibbons. But Jim, as soon as you're ready, will you come over here with me? Now, if you stand right alongside me here, I want to show you that here we have like a little ramp, you see? And here is a little automobile. Now, this automobile, if you throw it up there, will go up and then we'll come right back down again, you see, at a certain speed. Don't throw it too hard, though, because if you do, there's nothing to stop it going right off the end. Now, none of these cars must go off this ramp at any time. And what you do when I say go is this. You take that one car, you throw it up the ramp like that. You run over there and pick up one of those other little cars and get back here before this one goes off. See? <laughs> then, then you have two cars. You take the two cars and you shove those up and you run over and get the third car. When you get the third one back here and shove all three up and go over and get the fourth, each time getting back before any of them fall off and hit the floor, either up there or down here, we'll stop the clock and you'll beat the clock. You got the idea? Okay, if one drops off, that means you've used up that much time, we have to set them all out again just where they were and start all over. So don't waste time. All right, Jim, take a hold of it. Meantime, I'll ask you to look at our clock, see how many seconds you have. 55 seconds. You ready? Go. Stop the clock, start over again, here we go, get one back down there, that's the idea, we'll just take that one out of the run here for you, Jim, now get all set now, you can figure out about how long it takes, you ready? Go! Oh, oh, oh. All right, all right, all right, I'll let you have that, now you gotta roll them though, you gotta roll them so they don't roll over and stop them, ready? Go! Get all three in a row, they must, no, get them all in a row, they mustn't jam up, they mustn't jam up, ready? Hold it! Now take a look at the clock, Jim. I want to show you something now. Look, if you take one of these cars and throw it pretty well up there, you see you have quite a little while before it comes down. So try to get it so it goes fairly close to the top, but not all the way. Now you got to start over. Let me get them set here. Wait a minute. No, you got the... That's, there we are. Okay. All three of them. Give them the one to roll. Give them a red one to roll this time. You got a yellow, you like the yellow. Okay, look how many seconds you have still. 38. Are you ready? Go. <laughs> Tell you what, take a practice roll. Get an idea of the feel of the thing. Go ahead. That's the idea. Now you got the general idea. If you want to stand in front, you can. You don't have to stand here. You can stand around there. Would you rather? Huh? Okay, you ready? Go. Take it easy. Don't try to shove so excited because you really got quite a bit of time. Here we are. Let me get them set. Here we go. Okay. All right, there are your three cars. You ready? Go! Not too hard, but not too weak. That's it. Get it. All right, now take it easy. Take it easy. Come on, hurry up. Hurry up.
The bonus! The new bonus! You get a chance at it! All right, bring out the bonus! Come out here with me, Jim. Stand right alongside of me here. All right, let's bring out the bonus, girls. Okay, you need that table to push this one out. It's real heavy, I know. Okay. Now, here's what it is, Jim. This is worth $100 in cash. This is a bonus. It's in addition to anything else. You still go on and try the 200 o'clock win, lose, or draw on this. It doesn't matter, you see? Well, you puffing there, aren't you, boy, huh? No. You have to run like that in the fire department? Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Your problem is simply this. We're going to give you this saucepan. And there is the tennis ball lying right down there on the stage, you see? Now, what you have to do is to wind up with that little tennis ball inside the saucepan, the saucepan resting on the stage like that, with the tennis ball not rolling out of it. In other words, the tennis ball must remain in. Stop right in there, you see, and stay there, not roll out again. But the way you do it is this. You must hold this saucepan by this little loop that we have here. You may not, you may not touch it with your foot, with your other hand, with any part of your body, no matter you touch or kick the ball. You follow the ball wherever it goes. If it gets too far out of line, we'll go get it back for you. Now, you have how many seconds from the time I say go? 45 seconds to catch that ball. I'll start you over here a little more center stage. Take a hold of this with the one hand. You must hold it by the loop. You can't wind the string up on your hand. Are you ready? Go. Whenever that comes in the show, it'll be worth $200 until somebody gets it. You can leave your coat off if you want to, boy, <laughs> wouldn't you rather? Okay, we now move on up to, of course, the $200 clock. And that should have some excitement for both of you. Like a drink of water, or are you? Uh, you're all right, are you? How long have you been with the fire department up there? Almost eight years. Have you really? Well, I expect they're watching you get on fire. We've been getting our contestants all fixed up here for a very <laughs> special reason. <laughs> I said he'd take your coat off, and look what we do to you, Jim, huh? All right, will you both come over here with me and our problem on the $200 clock? It's one that I think, Jim, will cool you off considerably, all right? <laughs> Let's bring out our next little stunt here. Stand out of the way so you don't get bumped by it here. Oh, isn't that a float for you for the Rose Bowl, though? How about that? All right, if you'll step right up there, Jim, you're going to find you're going to lie down. You'll have a ringside seat. You'll be the most comfortable person here. Will you step right up in back there? That's it. Now, we got a shower cap for you to put on, uh, Jim, if you don't mind. Slip that little old shower cap on. That's the idea. Man, your husband's a big man, you know. What, what does he weigh, Mrs.? Uh, about 240, I guess. About 240 pounds? Looks pretty solid, too. How tall is he? About 6'3". About 6'3". OK, well, now, we're taking your shoes off for a very definite reason. We don't want you to slip around up here. We want to give you a, a, a fair chance to stand good and tight. You can just lie right down there, Jim. Just lie right down. That's the boy. Put your head on the pillow. There we are. That's just fine. All right. Now, let me show you something. Over here is a ping-pong ball. Do you see it? Little ping-pong ball. I'm going to drop it in that cup. Now, on the bottom of that cup are, let me see, one, two, three, four, five, six little holes. Now, there's a reason for them. What we're going to ask you to do is this. You're going to stand sort of spread eagle like this, you see, in between that supply station and this cup. When I say go, you pick up with one hand, or either hand you want, one of these cups of uh, pancake batter and pour it in this cup over here. <laughs> Get rid of the cup. Don't bother to stand it on the table. Just throw it. Get another cup, pour it, throw it. Get another cup, pour it, throw it, until you have floated that ping pong ball up and out of the cup. You see? Now do it as fast as you can, because don't forget that's kind of a leaky cup. Let's take a look at our, at our clock and see how many seconds you have. You have 30 seconds from the time I say go. Get comfortably spread out there. Let me see if you can reach all right. Can you reach both, both sides OK? Huh? OK. Well, you understand your problem, do you? All right. Are you comfortable, Jim? OK, boy. Here we go. Ha, <laughs> ha, 
You have a record of that boy. The girls will get him all cleaned up. You come on over here with me. Where are your shoes? Here we are. Bring your shoes right along with you. Okay, Miss Fitzgibbon. <laughs> That's good for his complexion. Now, if you will step right down there, Miss Fitzgibbon, that's the idea. You can put your shoes right down or slip them on, whatever you want. Up in back of this curtain is our jackpot board, and that's the next clock you go after right now. It's all yours to try for, and it contains one of those famous sayings or quotations, all scramble around out of order. You straighten them out so they spell out, reading from left to right, the saying or quotation we're after in 20 seconds from the time I say go. Okay? Open the curtain. Step up on the platform. Step up here. Go. Start moving them around. Stop the clock. What's up for the group? It's up for the game. You did it. You went through the jackpot clock. So let's see what you've won. Just take a look over here. Mr. and Mrs. Fitzgibbons, you too have won oh, Sylvania's oh, exquisite console, the Montclair, with genuine hand rubbed mahogany inlay doors large 21-inch movie clear television with surrounding halo light for the greatest viewing comfort in all television. The Montclair is outstanding in performance and design. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Fitzgibbons. You've just won Sylvania's jackpot prize. Right, all right, Roxanne, what do we have now? I'd like you to meet Irene Pearson and Mr. and Mrs. Pearson from Clifton, New Jersey. Well, how nice to have you all here. Hello, Miss Pearson. How are you? Miss Pearson? How are you? Hey there. Uh, what's your name? I Irene. Irene, come out here, Irene. How are you? Huh? Uh, shake hands with me. I won't bite. I promise. I won't even pour any whipped cream on you. You hear? How old are you? Five years old. Do you mind holding hands with me? I have a little special surprise for you. How would you like one of our Roxanne dolls for your very own? Would you like that? Roxanne, bring one of those dolls out, will you, for Irene? Here we are. Here's a Roxanne doll. Look at that. How's that? You like that? Okay, now you go back there and help Mommy and Daddy all you can, and uh, we'll find out what our problems are for Mr. and Miss Pearson. I believe we're going to start off with you, Miss Pearson, and it involves a certain amount of breakage that I expect Irene will enjoy, too. <laughs> You'll come over here with me. I'll show you what it is. This is on the $100 clock. Thank you, Betty. Now, here is an umbrella. It's an ordinary umbrella, except for the fact that we have put a little ring of sharp tacks in there, you see? Now, your problem is this. Using only one hand and not kicking or touching the balloons with anything but the umbrella, catch these balloons one by one in here and break them against those points. There are one, two, three, four, five, six balloons spread around the stage. Let's take a look at the clock, see how many seconds you have. 40 seconds to break them all. Are you ready? Using only one hand. One hand. Are you ready? Go. Wait just a minute, I have an important announcement here. What'd you say, Irene? I want my daddy to get squirted with a book cream. <laughs> well, I'll tell you, we'll talk. <laughs> we'll talk that over with your daddy in just a minute or two. Your mommy is just going through the 100 and getting our uh, Mr. and Mrs. Pearson all set for a little football here. You can come right on over here with me, Mr. and Mrs. Pearson. Don't <laughs> There's a reason for this. The foot you don't have to lace that up. They'll stay up, all right? The football season is here, so we got a little football game for you. The reason they had to walk like that is, you see, we have sold them together there. They're, they're, they're fastened up together. Now, you'll notice around the stage here, Mr. Miss Pearson, there are one, two, three, four, five, six footballs. Seven footballs. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Here's the seventh one back here. Now, when I say go, what you do is this. You go to these footballs one at a time. 
You, sir, are the center. You squat down over the football, you pass it back between your legs to your wife, she takes it from you and holds it. You go on to the next football, do the same thing with that, and keep going around until Mrs. Pearson is holding all seven footballs <laughs> off the floor at one time. Do you understand? And Mrs. Pearson, you can't tuck any of them down in there. All right. Take a look at our clock, see how many seconds you have. 45 seconds. You understand your problem? Okay, you ready? Go. Talk about your little rock stand on me. I don't know whether to give you the stunt on, on the jackpot clock or not. If you can't get them apart, bring them over here. They're back to back. She can work the jackpot this way. <laughs> can you slip out of it? Come on, back over here. You can slip out of it right back there. That's it. Just go on over there and slip right out of it. While you're getting out of it, Miss Pearson, I'll explain to you about our jackpot clock. This is one that you do entirely. Mr. Pearson can't help in any way except by holding good thoughts. When I say go, you step up on that platform and up on that magic jackpot board, you will find all of the famous sayings or all of the words of a famous saying or quotation that we put up there, but they're all scrambled up. You've got to unscramble it now and get it the way it ought to be in 20 seconds from the time I say go. You take the two pairs of football pants down over there, Mr. Pearson. Miss Pearson, you understand your problem? Open the curtain. Not right. No, no, not the world loves all a lover. No, you almost had it right first. You almost had it right first. No, no, no. You had it, no, no. Oh, golly, you had it almost right the first time. Here's what it is. It's all the world loves a lover is what it should have been. Well, in any event, you've done mighty well here tonight. Yes, you. you two come back on in here, Mr. Pearson, because you've beaten our $200 clock. So let's see what you've won. For your home, an estate electric range with a built-in griddle for greaseless grilling and estate's barbecue, a separate meat oven that cooks whole roasts with radiant charcoal type heat. Congratulations, Mr. and Mrs. Pearson. You've just won a beat the clock prize worth more than two hundred dollars. Roxanne, whom do we have now? But we have Mr. and Mrs. Uh, Moulton from Baltimore, Maryland, and they're celebrating their fifth wedding anniversary and also Mr. Moulton's uh, birthday? Mm -hmm. Birthday. On the same day? <laughs> married on your birthday. Well, many happy sure. returns to you. Congratulations you and all the best wishes Thank in the you. world. My goodness, kind of fun. You give him two presents or just one? Just one. Just one. You got him <laughs> trained, have you, Ms. Moulton? You're from Baltimore, Maryland. You have children? Two. Two children. All right. Well, now let's find out what your problem is. It involves a little... Uh, Sort of a joint cooperation between the two of you and steady hands. I'd advise you to hang your bag. All right, just put your bag there. Put your gloves up here if you want to. That's fine. And come on over here with me. This is on the $100 clock. Thank you, Madeline. Now, I'd like you to stand on this side, if you will. And uh, uh, Mr. Moulton, you stand on the other side of me. And I, what I'm going to ask you to do is put your hand up like that, and you put your hand like that. And that's the way I'm going to ask you to hold this beach ball. See? Now, I'm not going to ask you to hold it there right now because it may tire your hand before the stunt starts. But what happens is this. We'll start out with a cup and a saucer balanced on top of the beach ball. When I say go, you will, supporting it just that way and without touching this cup or saucer, go over there, pick up that saucer, put it on top of this cup. Then you will let go of it, balance the whole thing, carry it over there, you pick up a cup and put it on top of the saucer. Back over here, pick up a saucer, put it on top of the cup. Back over there, pick up the last cup and put it on top of the saucer. When you've got that, we'll stop the clock and you'll beat the clock. You understand the problem? Okay, let's take a look now before we start out on how many seconds you have. 55 seconds, that's the limit, so if you stand... Oh, hey! Our time has run out. Do you have any old crockery at home? Well, I thought you might want to try, because in the course of doing this sometimes, things like that happen, you see? And you may want to try breaking a few dishes. That'll be your stunt. Can you come back next week? You'll be our first contestants at that time, and we'll see you then. Good luck to you. You can practice all week. Ladies and gentlemen, this is Bud Collier, speaking Pennsylvania, hoping that next time may be your time to beat the clock. Good night, everybody! Oh,
Produced in association with the CBS Television Network. Roxanne's down to Paul Parr's original. This is Vern Bennett reminding you to tune in every week at the same time for Beat the Clock.